WWED number three. What would Eminem do? Welcome back, legends. My name is Liberty V. Justice, and I am your host for Rhythm for Revenue. Before we get too deep into it, I just want to say you are worth it. And if you enjoy this podcast, do me a favor, and we would love for you to do a five-star review. Write a couple sentences for us in Apple Podcast. That way we can reach more people and make a bigger impact, influence, and income with Rhythm for Revenue. You're worth it. Okay, so who's to blame for your success? Say you've got thousands and thousands of fans or millions of fans on TikTok, for example. Who's to blame for your success? Okay, let's put it this way. Who's to blame for Eminem's success? And you're like, oh yeah, he's so successful. He's got, you know, millions and millions of dollars. He's got millions of fans worldwide. And he's so great at what he does. Yes, but he has always been successful. Do you know why? Eminem has always been successful even before he had fans. Okay. He, and I'll tell you why. Number one, Eminem planned to be successful in rap. He planned to be successful, number one. Number two, he loved himself enough to take the actions that he needed to take and do whatever was necessary to get that success. Like he talked about sleeping on uh, the floor in Proof's room down in the Rap Olympics which is when he met Dr. Dre, right? Okay, so he loved himself enough to take the actions that he had to take to become successful, okay? That's number two. Number three, he never gave up, and he never, still doesn't give up, and he never saw quitting as an option. No matter what anybody says, and no matter what anybody does, and no matter what anybody doesn't do. He does not give up and he doesn't see quitting as an option. Okay. And number four, which is basically part of number three, which is if it's to be, it's up to me. He knew, Eminem knew that if he wanted something to happen, he had to make it happen. Just like he said in the song, Beautiful. So he said in the song, Beautiful, now I could have either just sat on my ass and pissed and moan or take the situation in which I'm placed in and get up and get my own. Meaning that your challenges are the reasons for your victories. The bigger the challenge, the greater the victory, right? So Eminem has no excuses. He went through hella shit when he was younger and it was terrible and he uses that in his rhymes. And he uses that, all of the things that he's been through, as a reason to become successful. Whereas a lot of other people who are not successful use their circumstances as the excuse for not becoming successful. They always use things as an excuse. They use other people and uh, and their circumstances and everything as a reason why they don't do something. Okay? So, like I said... In the beginning, who is to blame for your success? Okay, so I have 185,000 fans on TikTok. Who's to blame for that? Me. Not the fans, because most of them are haters and always want to talk shit. I am to blame for my success. I am the reason that I have 185,000 fans. Okay, yes, I do appreciate the people that are nice to me. Okay, but... I was the one that put the work in. I was the one that made the videos. I'm still the one today that still 
uh, has all these people saying these stupid comments, degrading me sexually, putting me down, telling me I'm ugly, telling me I'm stupid, telling me I suck at music, whatever. I'm a bad person, all these things. I'm the one that goes through all that. I'm the one that makes the videos. I'm the one that makes this podcast. I'm the one that makes my music. I'm the one that's learning mixing music. I'm the one that does the live streams. I'm the one that performs music live. I'm the one that rehearses. <laughs> I'm, I do all of these things. Okay, so I am the reason for my success and I am the reason why I am not where I want to be in certain areas of my life, which is the whole reason why I'm doing this podcast, because I know that you want to take credit for the good things and you want to blame yourself for success. But when it comes to anything that you haven't achieved yet, you always want to blame everybody else. It's always Donald Trump's fault. It's always really hard in your country. You're always oppressed. People are putting you down. The haters, oh, the haters. It's the haters' fault that you're not successful. No, it's not. The haters are not the ones sitting there looking at your phone and watching TikToks instead of actually making them. Actually, they are. They are. They're not looking at your phone, but, but they're watching TikToks and they're not making them just like you. And they're not stopping you. You are stopping you. Okay. So don't be like the haters. The haters are victims and victims are losers. Okay. Because losers, haters, victims, whatever you want to call them, losers always have things in common. Okay. So here are some things, a list of things that losers do. Just so you know, I want you to know about the things that losers do so you don't do them and you can be a winner instead. Okay. Losers do this. Blame, complain. They're negative. They lie. They accuse. They assume. And because they do all of those things, they're just distracting you if you're a winner. Uh, and they are not creating success for themselves by blaming, complaining, being negative, lying, accusing, and assuming things. Okay. So, and because they are doing those things, victims have no power. They are powerless. Victims, if you're blaming somebody else for your lack of success, then guess what? You're giving away all your power to someone else. See, because if I'm the reason for my own success, then guess what? I'm the reason for my lack of success in any area of my life. So as long as I'm blaming myself, which is the true, the true culprit, I'm the true reason for any lack of results that I have in my life. If I'm blaming myself, then guess what? Great news. Then I'm the solution. If you are the problem, if you're the cause of all my problems, guess what? There is no solution. If I'm blaming you for my lack of success, then I'm waiting on you to do something. And I have no power because I can't stop you from doing certain things and I can't make you do certain things. I can stop myself and I can make myself start, but I can't stop or start you. So if I can't stop or start you from doing certain things, to create my own success, then what does that mean? It means that I have to be responsible for my own success. So that means that WWED, this is what you do. So be the opposite of a victim, which is a victor, victorious, be victorious, be successful by doing what Eminem, not just what he would do, but what he has done. He, Plan to be successful no matter what. Make the decision. Decision comes from incision, which means to cut off all other possibilities. You want to take the island? Burn the boats. Take all of your options except for one. That is, I will be successful. I will make this happen no matter what. Like 50 Cent says, uh, get rich or die trying. You know? So, love yourself enough to take the actions to become successful. Stick it in the haters face. That's what I do. Stick it in the haters faces. They're so upset because they're so lazy and fearful and, and people are telling them they can't do it. So they try to push that off on you. And I know it makes you angry. I know it scares you, but you can't be like everyone else if you want to change the world. Okay. So 
Love yourself enough to make those videos on TikTok. Love yourself enough to make the music. Whatever it is you want to be successful in. Love yourself to take the actions right now. Because action is the antidote. Love yourself enough. Just enough right now to make a move. Take some action. Okay? And the more action you take the more success you will have. And the more success you have, the more you will love yourself. A lot of people are like, well, I'll do it when I'm confident. No, you won't because you'll never get confident. You'll never get confident until you do it. So go out there and do it. You're worth it. Next time on Rhythm for Revenue, we will be talking about the difference between cockiness and and confidence. When people say, you're cocky, you think you're better than everybody else. We will talk about that on the next episode of WWED on Rhythm for Revenue. My name is Liberty V Justice, and there's no period in my V because my victories never end, and yours don't have to either, my friends. Come back now, you hear, and do a review for Rhythm for Revenue in Apple podcast. Share this with a friend if you really enjoyed it. Thank you so much.